Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Persona 4 gameplay. Welcome, welcome, fellow rogues. Last time was a very emotional episode, I must say. Reset, Reset got a little, uh, a little teared up about suddenly realizing that she left behind what she had as a, as a uh, idol. Very sad day. We found out that we are going to be participating in two big events this video. One, the beauty pageant with all the ladies, and two, the group date cafe. So the faster we get through the night and into the day, the quicker we get to see it happen. And I'm really hoping there is a uh, an animation sequence for the beauty pageant. Because if there is, I'm taking that animation sequence, I'm taking some pictures, I'm putting it through, uh, through my picture software, and I'm going to make some new thumbnails. Better believe it. You can see, I see a headline in large letters on a bulletin board. It says, Miss Yasugami High Pageant. It seems that the cross-dressing pageant is also going to be held at the Culture Festival. Hey, it's Yosuke. We're expecting great things from you. <laughs> what the heck does that mean? <laughs> They're doing the cross-dressing pageant again this year? Man, they never learn, do they? Ooh, some people have signed up already. <laughs> Man, what? Idiots would want to be in this thing. Oh no. He's about to get his just desserts, isn't he? I bet the guy that just spoke signed up. Signed him up. Let's see. Yosuke Hanamura. Me! Wait. And Kanji Tatsumi? You're on here too! What? Me? That's my name, all right. Wow, there's a lot of contestants. Didn't we only get like two people last year? I heard this year, even if someone else signs you up, you can't back out. Well, that's not cool. Hey, but what if they did sign themselves up? Ew, what a disturbing thought. Seriously, that's really wrong. Someone else signs you up? It's them. They must have done this. Can't imagine why. It couldn't have been somebody else's fault for signing the girls up without their permission. Yosuke. Okay. You better have a damn good explanation for this. Why are you even upset? You did it to them. What the heck are about? For what? For what, my ass? for signing us all up in the cross-dressing pageant. It was you, wasn't it? Oh, that thing. Risei-chan started saying, let's all have fun with this, so I didn't really have a choice. And Kashiwagi seems happy too now that there's more people involved in it. You little... This is cross-dressing! Cross-dressing! Well, you're the one who started it! It's because of you that we can't back out of the beauty pageant, so it serves you right! That's beside the point. Don't no, worry. it's not. We'll make you absolutely enchanting, okay? Oh, boy. That's not what's important here. It's about a man's pride, damn it! I'll give him my all. Whoa. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, this has nothing to do with pride or any of that. You know already, right? Once someone signs you up, you can't back out. If you got a problem with that, go talk to Ms. Kashiwagi. There's no way she's gonna listen. What? Why are you giving up? I ain't doing this, period. Kanji-kun, are you still okay as far as the mandatory attendance policy? I don't think it would be wise to disappoint a teacher too much. You are a scary gal. You know that, senpai? 
Just leave it to us to dress you guys up. Risa Chan's with us too. There's no way you won't turn out pretty. Yeah, you're positive we'll be pretty. <laughs> what? I guarantee it. Hey, why are you suddenly fine with this? Yeah. Well, if we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. There's nothing manly about being a woman. What are you talking about? I seriously refuse. Kashiwagi's sure gonna get angry if you don't show up. Maybe you and Kanji Kun can be classmates next year. Why is this happening? We all end up in the same boat without our consent. What kind of joke is this? You did it first. Uh, the exact same joke you pulled on us? If we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. <laughs> Oh boy, what's going to happen? What? Make sure I'm ready for the culture festival tomorrow, come on man. Give me a break. It's so pretty. Glass booth group cafe. Group day cafe. Don't want to stop them by. Come in for a first hand experience with group dating. Mm. Oh, this is so embarrassing. There's not that many people passing by here in the first place. I think we need some shills to drum up interest. Shills? Shills? Uh, who? Who else is here besides us? Isn't that kind of sad? <laughs> Do we have a choice? We need customers to get the ball rolling. If there aren't many people passing by, we have to get the attention of the ones who are by any means necessary. But there's only five of us here. Yo, oh. how's it going? I came to check up on you... Guys, perfect timing. Huh? But now we've got four guys and two girls. Eh, you guys are cross-dressing tomorrow, anyways. Why don't you can sit on the girls' side? Jeez. What? I'm not gonna. All this sit in the girls' area. Quick, look up, guys. Hmm. 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 Um, I'll grab the guy's suit. <laughs> right here, I'll be sitting right here. There you go, Yosuke. You'll be our girl. Are you serious? Well, let's get started. Awkward. Uh, you guys can start now. Uh, uh, will someone please start? <sighs> the silence is as heavy as a newborn lamb. Actually, what the hell is this? A mock group date. I mean, we're on a group date. <laughs> you don't have to talk like a girl. Is so. What are your hobbies? Man, you're enjoying this, aren't you? I like um martial arts in general, uh, m mainly watching them. <laughs> Yikes, this is really embarrassing. Now you know why nobody's joining. No, he's something but. 
My hobby is, um, defeating shadows. Don't see that in front of the stupid cattle president. That's not a hobby. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. Okay, then we'll ask you a question next. Um. Um. What type of girls do you like? Whoa, getting right to the point. I guess, uh, cute girls? Wow. Real ladies man there. Man, this is lame. Oh, now it dawns on you? Welcome to reality. Your turn. What type of girls do you like? I'm only Yukiko, a kind girl. Gotta go with the UGA. Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> for a second, I, I, I thought you were serious. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn, Kanji Kun. Oh, uh, well, I. What? What? Uh, well, uh. I, I guess someone who's uh. Kind of mysterious, and uh, looks strong, but actually kind of describing Naoto. Yeah, I really wonder who you're talking about. Should I try asking a question? Anybody should like Yosuke? Well, you guys are all wonderful. But I think you'd be the most reliable. I mean, you idiot, don't make me play along. You did it so well, though. Oh. We got any customers yet? Oh, we can see. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> doing. Uh, uh, <laughs> Well, see ya. Market. The group date cafe is officially a failure. The first day of the culture festival ended on a strange note. And I decided to at least walk around the school a bit before going home. Now we're in the hallway. Wow, this class is exhibiting a collection of local artifacts. I wish ours were doing something this cool. We're doing freaking play, man. What's up with that? Too late to complain, Piglet. Uh, it's not Piglet, it's Hamlet. How do I get stuck with that role anyway? And who the heck came up with this play? Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet. Dude. Get out, dude. Tomorrow's gonna be way more exciting, right? <laughs> For sure, I'm gonna be rooting for you in that beauty contest. Remember, first place or bust. Hey, it's you, me. What? Why she wanna go in there? But it's nothing. I'm not. I'm not scared or anything. Hey. Hey, wait for me. Don't leave me alone. I have an idea. I should act like a ghost too. I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. All you other ghosts are my friends. Who? Ouch. Don't grab my hand like that. You made me. Ghost? Is that you? Huh? Who are you? No. No more. I'm going outside. I'm I want to go home. I'm out. Peace. <sighs> Don't tell anyone what happened in there, okay? I mean, it wasn't scary at all. Really? I toured the culture festival with my friends. Welcome back. That means tomorrow's probably the pageant, yeah? Maybe? Second day of the culture festival. At a classroom before the contest begins.
Why is Teddy? Oh, okay. I thought it was just the girls. And then Teddy was in the mix. Why are you guys just standing there? Come on, hurry up and sit down. Come on, Kanji Kun, over here. <laughs> Time to become ladies. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Ostriching patching will begin soon. Looks like I'm gonna have to give up and let you go apply makeup on me. What about me? You look fine as you are, man. It turns out I'm entering this too. I must win this contest to see my dream realized. He seemed bored, so we signed him up as a last minute contestant. So you're making him suffer too, huh? Doesn't look like he's too upset about well, it. Well, if he's been signed up, there's nothing we can do about it. Now, Tokun, can you lend us a hand? We'll leave Teddy to you. Well, Me? No. She doesn't put makeup on or anything. The Nauto Teddy team's unstoppable! Does she even know? Well then, um... First, I need some dazzling makeup. You're right. Then I'll go borrow a makeup kit from someone. Wait! The battle begins by choosing the right equipment! Equipment? <laughs> Is right? Y yeah, bring it on. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so it begins. Is that her dressed up as a man? Ladies no. and okay. gentlemen, we now begin the second day of the culture festival with the ever popular Miss Yasugami pageant. Let's get right down to it and introduce our first contestant. She's a runaway express train who's in a born and bred and can kill with both her fists and her looks. She eh? Presenting Kanji Chan of oh. the first year class three! <laughs> so up. So up. So up. Ugh. Ew, that's so creepy! Oh, this is wrong on every level. Now, don't rip me apart for asking, but what would you say is your best feature? My eyes. <laughs> My eyes. <laughs> wow! A conventional answer from this all-too unconventional beauty! After such a strong start, I don't know how much of a chance the others have, but here's our second contestant, an eloquent heiress of the noble Juness. She's pure disappointment from the moment she opens her mouth. Gotta be Yosuke next. Presenting yeah. Yosuke Chan of the second year class two. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking like a girl? Holy crap! And here I thought Yosuke Senpai would be able to pull it off. Dude, it's terrifying. I can just imagine someone like him sitting across from me on a train. Now, you look ready to win in that outfit. <sighs> Do you often dress like this? Hell no! Uh... <clears throat> Like, no way! Who is with this? The laughing stocks up here. That's the point of the uh, event, I believe. What did you think this was about? I've already had about enough of this, but there's still more to come! Up next, our third contestant! This guy talks really slow. She has the mildly bitter tang of the city, and she's made more girls cry than there are stars in the sky. That's probably true. Presenting our transfer student who's been breaking hearts in this second year, Class 2. Why are you doing this? 
Whoa. I thought he was cooler than that. Sounds like your entrance is causing quite a stir. Did you sign yourself up? That girl I like entered me. That's true. Chie did enter us. I like Chie. Hey, now's not the time to reveal stuff like that. Tell the truth, man. Damn that Kashiwagi. How dare she tear away our innocence like this? Now I'm scarred for life, damn it! Our last contestant is a random, unaffiliated entrant. She's a friend of our other beauties. Calling herself king of the TV world, she's a cute, sexy little number. Give a warm welcome to Teddy John! Of course. Give me your heart. <laughs> That's a boy? He's so cute. I'd hit it. <laughs> the votes have been collected. Teddy wins. And the winner of this year's Miss Yasugami pageant is... The random contestant who won everyone's heart, Miss Teddy! champion, Miss Teddy will receive a very special prize. Later this afternoon, we will be hosting the Miss Yasugami pageant with actual beauties this time. Your reward is a position as an honorary judge in that pageant. Woohoo! Why do you want to be a judge in that pageant? An honorary judge? That's one lame prize for what you gotta go through. Yeah. Not everyone can get that excited over a judge position. Seeing him so happy kind of makes me happy too. Yeah, he's like over the top innocent. Well then, Miss Teddy, how does it feel to have won the pageant and become a judge? <laughs> the long awaited day has finally come. I decree that one of the judging criteria later this afternoon will be... Ta-da! A swimsuit competition! What the hell? Over my dead body! Oh, I didn't bring a swimsuit. <laughs> Reese's like, oh man, I only got a swimsuit. That bear needs to be disappeared. Well, I doubt he has the authority to declare that unilaterally. <laughs> this is great. I love the direction this is going. That means she's going to confirm it. Oh, I got a drag costume. How nice. Wait for that day in the beauty pageant dressing room. Dress yourselves up as well as you can, you little brats. What is she, the rival woman on a soap opera? Wait, is Kashiwagi serious about winning this? <laughs> Mr. Teddy dropped this off. He said that they're swimsuits. Hey, we don't need them! <laughs> <laughs> My mature charms will win the day. I can't help but notice a certain someone standing right next to the picture of Kashiwagi. I brought my own swimsuit, of course. I brought my own, too. What's with these people? Hey, let's, let's not do this. What's that? Getting cold feet? Wise of you to back out of a fight you can't win. You call yourself an idol, but you're just jailbait with no brains, no guts, and especially no figure. This is supposed to be a teacher? What? There's no way their type would be crowned Miss Inaba. Why not just let them back out? <laughs> you think you're gonna 
take the crown, you little snoring pig! <laughs> snoring? What are you talking about? Your face is as foul as your mouth, and your brain's as rotten to boot. We went through hell because of you! That's it! Now I'm pissed! Oh, you're going to challenge me? It's useless. Don't waste your energy. Let this be a warning to the others, too. Ugh. <laughs> You're going to lose. Now's your last chance to run away. Run away? Why the hell would we run from someone like you? Well, we did kind of run away last time. That's what I'm saying! We gotta stand our ground and get our revenge for that! How can we cower and hide when they're picking a fight? Yeah. No, you can go. You're being swindled. Right, Reese Chan. Now, Jokun, we won't run from this, right? <laughs> huh? Like, what? Me too. What? Why are you letting yourself be so easily provoked? There's no way! Absolutely no way that I'm wearing a swimsuit. You're not going anywhere. Oh, no. Or not, though. Oh, yeah, I, apparently I decided to watch the beauty pageant. Crazy, right? But that's not all! For the Culture Festival's main event, there's still more to come in the Miss Yasugami pageant! Oh, it looks like there's not going to be an animated sequence of this. I am sad. The judging continues. Can you hear the crowd going wild? Now for our next contestant, Miss J. Sasanaka of the second year's Class 2! Come on out, GA! Uh, um, I'm kind of shy and reserved, and my favorite food is pudding. <laughs> pudding. That liar. It's steak. Thank you very much. Up next, another contestant from class two, Miss Yukiko Amagi. My name is Yukiko Amagi. Um, my family runs the Amagi Inn. If you ever find yourself in the area, please give us a visit. Our hot springs are open to the public year-round, so whenever you're in the mood to enjoy them, please drop by. <laughs> Alright, that'll do nicely. Next up, a very familiar face from the first year class two, Miss Rise Kujikawa. Hi, hi, my name's Rise Kujikawa. I haven't been in town very long, but it's a great place and I'm 100% thrilled to be here. So sorry that I'm not working as an idol right now. Rosette's gonna do her best, so I hope you'll all cheer for me. The real Rosette, ladies and gentlemen, in the flesh! Oh, thank you very much. Next is the mysterious transfer student of the first year's class one, Miss Noto Shirogane! Hey, Kanji, here she comes. Hey, shh! Pipe down! He's not wearing swimsuits in this phase, though. I... I'm Naoto Shiragane. It's hard to believe I'm up on a stage at a pageant like this. This is beyond my wildest imaginings. I... I really don't know what to say. Can I step back now? <laughs> what? 
And with that, all six uniquely beautiful contestants are on stage. Now, let's have our special judge, Mr. Teddy, ask them some questions. Oh boy. <clears throat> I am Teddy, the honorary judge for this pageant. Please keep in mind that if you anger me, you will be at a disadvantage. Well, uh, Miss Chie, do you have a boyfriend? What? Teddy, you... Ms. Yukiko, have you ever smooched anyone before? Huh? Stop it! Ms. Naoto, where are you ticklish? I, I beg your pardon? Can I stay at your house next time, Risei-chan? What kind of a question is that? Anyways, I have a surprise announcement for you all. Wait till you hear this! For the first time ever, this year's pageant will feature a swimsuit competition! And it's all thanks to Mr. Teddy here! Yep, he's gonna get the crap beat out of him after this event's over, for sure. We'll take a brief break while our contestants put on their swimsuits and be back in just a few moments. Oh god. <laughs> you sound like a dirty old man. Chie Senpai <laughs> is cute though. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? This is great! Wow, Yukiko-senpai. She is exactly how I imagined she'd be. Yeah, because you've seen her in a swimsuit before, remember? We went to the beach. It's not new. Yoo-hoo! Here's Rosette! She's so gorgeous. And one we ain't seen is not, though. Huh? Huh? Uh-oh. Miss Nauto? She's not coming out. Well, sad news, everyone, but Miss Nauto won't be coming out for this portion. Fine by me. The fewer rivals I have to crush, the better. Oh, well... I had a feeling that would happen. Too bad, Kanji. Huh? Uh, no, um... Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think it was brave of her to at least show up in the first round? Yeah, you're right. Well, it's about time we voted. Who are you going for? Um... Probably reset. Reset because... Oh, I have... I can choose that. Huh? Is that allowed? Thanks for waiting, everyone. The results are in. Everybody, watch everybody voted for Nato. Looking at the way the vote went, you guys out in the audience had a hard time picking a favorite. Lots of different opinions, with every one of our contestants having their own enthusiastic supporters. On the other hand, it looks like you girls were all thinking the same thing. And so, there's a clear winner! Miss Noto! I knew it. Her androgynous charm seems to have won most of the girls' hearts. I'd like to present Miss Nauto with her award now, but it looks like she stepped outside. She won, even though she dropped out of the last part. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Man, losing to Nauto. Well, I guess I didn't appeal to the girls that much. Oh well, I think it's enough that we beat those two hands down, senpai. 
How could I lose a beauty pageant? Did you suck, lady? <laughs> Miss Kachiwaki, <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> no, neither can I. <laughs> oh, no, go. <laughs> Miss Kajawagi. <laughs> the Miss Jessica Pageant has come to an end. We will never know what Nalto looks like in a baby suit. Oh no. What was us? Oh! Big bro! Hey, what's up? Ah, good thing we found you. Why? Somebody get murdered? I've got to make a business trip to the prefectural office, and I won't be back until tomorrow. Shame it had to fall during your school's culture festival. Nanako and I were both looking forward to it. Sorry to dump this on you, but could you show Nanako around? Oh. Would you like to walk around with us, Nanako-chan? <laughs> Can I? Everybody loves Nanako. Thanks. Then I'm gonna get going. Have a safe trip. Yeah, you have fun too, Nanako. Okay, Dad. Hey, Nanako-chan, why don't you come over and stay at my place tonight? What? Huh? 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 What did you just say, Yuki-chan? Wasn't what talking to you. Is that okay with you? Uh huh. I promised you guys a while ago, so yeah. Oh, she's talking about that. Hell yeah, I'm down. Huh. Can I boil eggs in the hot springs? Ugh. Oh, I should call my grandpa and let him know. It's just one night, right? Come on, it'll be fun. Everyone will be there. Can I? Offering, so why not? Huh. It's offering, so why not? Let's go! I want to spend the night! <laughs> Hot springs, you cut off! Flushed skins! Are you that sure it's gross. okay? I mean, isn't it still the busy season? We've had fewer visitors this year. There are some open rooms too oh okay might as well then man when was the last time i stayed at yukiko's place look at all the music notes like we'll all be staying at the amagi inn tonight <sighs> looks like all the guys are in one room Oh, we're in different rooms. No kidding, stupid. Well, duh. It's one thing if they were next door, but they're so far away. Those people like you exist. Yukiko said there weren't that many open rooms, so they're up on another floor. First thing they're going to do is take Nanako-chan to the hot springs. <laughs> is it one of those girls and guys together springs? Mixed baths. I don't want to take more no. than one bath if I don't have to. Why don't we take a dip before we hit the sack? Yeah. By the way, what's up with this room? It looks pretty expensive. Oh, you thought so too. Normally a room like this wouldn't be open during the busy season. I was trying not to think about it, but you don't think something happened here, do you? That's what I was thinking in the back of my head. Senpai? What are you all quiet about? Now that you mention it... Phone's ringing. Jeez, that freaked me out. You answer it, Kanji. What are you freaking out for? Kanji's hand is sick. What? Hello? Huh? Hello? Hello? Uh oh, I see. Cool, thanks. That was the front desk. 
Said the hot springs should be pretty empty right now. Wow, I'm Aggie in. Great service. I broke out in a cold sweat. Oh, come on then. Let's go wash it off. <laughs> I can't wait to take a bath with everyone. We'll all face the same way and wash each other's backs. And we're gonna sing songs while looking at Mount Fuji, right? Uh, that's a bathhouse. Man, everything on this side is so fun. It's all thanks to you for bringing people over to my side. Thank you, Sensei. That level up? Yeah. Interesting. From Maracom. This is animated. Freak. <sighs> wow, this place is huge. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> no, now, though. Got those over. things shut down. Shut down hard, man. Huh? Oh, okay. Wow, now tell your skin looks so soft. Can I touch? Can I touch? Huh? Um. Wow, it really is smooth. You're so lucky. You have such fair skin and silky hair. No unneeded body fat either. Where are you touching? Um, Nanako-chan. Um, are you okay with staying over at someone else's place like this? Aren't you scared? No, it's lots of fun. Yeah, freaking chill out, lady. Come I'm always alone until Big Bro comes back. Oh, I, I see. But I'm good at staying home alone. I always do what my dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. Wow, I bet he's so proud of you. Hey, Nanako-chan, do you want to swim around? Can I? I've been swimming here since I was young. Do you still do it? Huh? Um... Why are you hesitating? Come on, let's race to the other side. Whoever loses owes everyone a fruit milk. Milk. I want lemon soda. Uh, what? Me too? Check out my dead man's float! Wow, well, you're good! Oh, what a giant spring! I'll show you all my teddy paddle! Ow! What the... Huh? What? It's not supposed to be a mixed bath, is it? You guys! W w why are you guys here? That's my line! This is the worst possible situation. As a leader, I have to... 
Um, shoot, I don't know, man. Are both bad answers? <laughs> Does courage even matter in a situation like this? No, I'm retreating. It's an honest mistake. We're not gonna forget this. Weird. We'll have to punish them later. For what? You guys. For what? You schmuck. Wow, you got him good. Liam's pretty deadly, huh? I wonder if they caught a glimpse. Of what, your towel? Oh, it's actually the guy's turn to use the springs now. I got the times mixed up. <laughs> Are you serious? Aw, oh, crap. I think we went too far with them. Uh, what should we do? Oh, it'll be fine as long as we keep quiet about it. This'll just be between us girls. Do you want to race again, Nanako-chan? Not very nice. Now we have a bath towel. Damn no. it! No hot springs for the guy. I checked again, and sure enough, the hot springs supposed to be for men at that hour. They're so evil. Evil, I tell you! I don't know why, but my head's all bumpy. <laughs> Those are lumps from the pails whacking you in the head. You got lumps, man. <laughs> <laughs> what was that laugh? <sighs> uh. Hey, uh, guys, did you, uh, see anything? Nope. No. None whatsoever. Damn it. I lead a cursed life. Let's just go to bed. Hold it, senpai. Do you hear something? Hmm. <sighs> what was that? That would be the big girl crying about losing the pageant. <laughs> I heard it too. D don't tell me. Is there one here? One here? W one what? Dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> this room! It's the one that announcer was staying in before she died. My mom was talking about it. Oh? Oh god, you said it! I was trying to block it out and you had to go and say it! So that's why there's talismans here. Yukiko, that witch tempted us here knowing full well! Damn it! First the hot spring, now this! We've been completely suckered! <sighs> oh crap! There's no way I'm sleeping through this! I've made up my mind! I'm going to Yuki-chan's room! I can't sleep soundly unless I'm watching everyone's sleeping faces as I drift off. Uh, sleeping faces? Are you gonna sneak into their room? You can't be... <sighs> hey, what should we do? That answer's obvious. We, uh, we should and not. We'll have to spend the night here. N no way! I can't! I won't! Alrighty! It'll be a surprise awakening for them! Apparently we are sticking into the girls' room. I'm batting a hundred with the answers here. Good morning, everyone! It's a surprise awakening! No, a surprise break-in! This is Teddy reporting in! When did you put that on? I feel awkward without it, so I always bring it. Stop talking like that! Oh, check it out, a hairbrush. And it's got long strands of hair on it. That's creepy. You're really into this, aren't you? Damn straight. It's time I got revenge for the campout. Hey, good point. 
All right, I'll get my revenge, too. A, a toothbrush! Holy crap, my heart's pounding. But what about Nanako-chan? Don't worry. Nanako-chan is a magnanimous girl. Well, what? Well, that's true. But try not to wake her up. She's not part of our revenge scheme. Oh, I finally reached the futons. They're fast asleep. Oh no, I can already see where this is going. Uh, none of the girls are there. It's going to be the teacher and the big girl. I forgot her name. Excuse me. Yuki-chan, I'm scared of the ghosts. All right. I can do this too. Time to prove I'm a man. Cheer, senpai! Be gentle! Huh? One, two... Where's the rest of the futons? Hmm? What's going on? Ugh. Sheesh. Ugh. Oh, my! So that's how you guys are! Ah, uh, you should have said so. Mmm, such naughty boys. Oh. <laughs> ah, be gone! Holy crap! D don't touch me! We were crying our poor eyes out until now, you know. We thought there were no men who appreciated our beauty. All right, boys. I'm all yours. And not a word about this to anyone. <laughs> Come here, tiger. Meow. What has been seen cannot be unseen. We're going to bed. This feels great. Good for you. I love, love, love being able to take a bath anytime I want. How's Nanako chan? Fast asleep. Hey, did you know Miss Kashiwagi and Hanako san were staying in the room next to ours? Hanako, that's what her name is. Those two seem to get along really well. I'm surprised. They come and stay here now and again. Usually they come to cry when something breaks their hearts. Huh. I guess they were really devastated from losing to Nautokun. Please don't bring that up again. Well, they do make a good team. The night of the Amagian passes by. Huh, saving point here. Monday! What's gonna happen? We are back from the Amagi Inn! And it's a day off. Because the culture festival was Sunday. Well. I'm a little disappointed. That they animated the uh, the hot spring scene instead of the bathing uh, suit competition scene. To be honest, but still good, still good. Thank goodness! I knew I could count on you to pick up. Now what? You're free today, right? Can you give me a hand here? I'm begging you. This case sounds flustered. The Halloween fair starts at Juness today. We're nowhere near ready. Oh. We have the decorations, but I can't find the floor manager, and I have no idea who to ask for help. You're the only one I could think of. Please, I'm begging you. I have a feeling we have no choice but to help this guy. Game's not gonna let us say no. D watch, here it comes. I have other plans. I see. Yeah, I wasn't sure you could help on such short notice. My bad. Sorry about that. I'll call you again some other time. Gonna decline his, his request. Oh, surprise! 
It did let me decline it. Interesting. Ooh, stone combo. That's cool. I'm, I'm really surprised that the game let me decline his offer, to be honest. Monaco's not here. I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode there. Yeah, it's almost an hour. It's pretty good. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. There were some funny moments. It's pretty good. Uh, click the top left of the video to go to the previous episode. We'll top right of the video to the next episode. And I'll see you next time.